may have heard music ringing through the hills on Saturday as a local musician has picked up an alphorn. It was just a few months ago that I kind of got it into my head that maybe this was something that would be fun to have. I live in this mountainous region, so I, uh, I, I manifested it. I found it on the internet and drove to Fernie and bought it and now I have it. But I am a French horn player. Uh, I have a master's degree in, in French horn, in horn performance. And the French horn is quite similar to the Alp horn. It's the same, roughly the same length, same idea. All brass instruments follow the same principles. For now, I'm quite happy with it just being a thing. I bring it out on the weekends and come up to the mountain or wherever we are and just toot a little bit. It's kind of, kind of fun. So appropriately, uh, legend has it that the shepherds in, in Switzerland would, would take the, uh, the, their alphorns up into the mountains when they would go uh, graze their flocks kind of in the higher elevations. And the whole idea, of course, it, it's hard to say that this actually happened. I like to think it did. Um, they would play back to their families in the village, in the valley, um, in the villages to, you know, tell them everything was okay. While the true date of the Alpine Swiss horn is currently unknown, it carries a long line of tradition. For Castanet News in Penticton, I'm Casey Richardson.